Hey everybody, F Bomb Fitzgerald here, and welcome to the second episode of Tombstone Tuesdays. So in this series, I play with some of the old polycount sets. So just real quickly, sets are combinations of weapons, and in some cases weapons and hats, that Valve has identified as going together. More often than not, that happens when they were introduced during the same update. So things like the uh, warrior spirit with the brass beast, that was part of a set called the hibernating bear, uh, along with the buffalo steak sandwich. Um, but there are a few sets which were introduced in July of 2010 as part of the polycount contest, and they are known as polycount sets. And what's unique about these sets is back in the day they actually gave you in-game gameplay bonuses just for equipping them. Almost all of them had zero downside as well. So for example, today I'm running the Milkman hat with the shortstop, the Mad Milk, and the Holy Mackerel. And from July of 2010 through July of 2013, if you ran this combo, you just got 25 extra HP as Scout. So no penalty to your speed, no penalty to double jump or anything else, just straight up, you had 150 health as a scout, which was a little bit busted, uh, but I think the main reason that Valve took it out was they were concerned that it seemed like pay to win. So from July of 2013 through today, if you do equip this set now, you don't get the 25 HP, but whenever you kill somebody while wearing this set, you drop what they call a calling card. Essentially, it looks like a tombstone. It's got a little picture of the shortstop on it. Um, and yeah, I'm still kind of getting a little used to using the shortstop. It's such a weird weapon. Uh, it's undergone so many changes in its history. But yeah, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the shortstop. Right now, it's in this weird place where it's kind of like Scout's only true mid-range primary. But... You can fairly ask, why does Scout need a mid-range primary when he's so much more effective just getting up close and personal? Uh, and if you are going to get up close and personal, honestly, the Soda Popper, the Force of Nature, or Stock are all better options for doing burst damage. The only other reason to run Shortstop over any of the other Scout primaries is to use the Shove uh, Mouse 2 function as a meme. And honestly, that's one of the reasons that I've selected Hightower for doing the special delivery video is because there is an environmental hazard where I could try and push people off this cliff here. But I'm kind of not counting on it because uh, the shove is really inconsistent and you have to be super up close and just everything has to go right for that to happen. I don't know if I'd say the shortstop is the worst primary. Oh my god, look at that ragdoll. That was a really good ragdoll. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'd say Shortstop is the worst Scout primary, but it's certainly like the least interesting. I'd argue the Babyface Blaster is more fun to use at the very least, and I, I don't think anybody would put this even in mid-tier for effectiveness for the Scout. Yeah, again, like here I kind of feel like I'm being forced to pepper people from mid-range. Let me see if I can get up close with the Mackerel. Hey, there we go. So yeah, I feel like the milk has decent synergy with the fish, uh, mostly because if you're gonna get up close and personal in a melee fight and try and embarrass somebody by killing them with a fish, oh, extinguish you medic, uh, at least getting back 60% of your melee damage helps you survive that melee fight a little bit better. So that's one, one use of the milk uh, that I see having synergy with this set. But honestly, the milk is excellent just generally, so it kind of has synergy with any of the scout's weapons, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah, I don't probably shouldn't be starting a fight with a sniper, even with the improved mid-range damage from this thing. It's just, that's still not a fight you're going to win. Hopefully I can show off the shove mechanic here at some point. Alright, um, the other thing that's a little bit funny about the uh, shortstop is it's got a very tight cone of damage, so in a way feels similar to the pistol in that regard, where you really got to try and be more precise with your aim to, to get any kind of consistent damage out of this thing. I'm honestly pretty surprised to have gotten up to a 10 streak using this weapon, because it's... I feel like it's sort of a good weapon to get assists, because you're always chipping at people from a distance, but I don't know, it's just not 
been super reliable for me to secure actual kills the way, say, the Force of Nature is, or even Stock Scatter Gun. All right, he's milked, so I'm gonna chase him around the corner. Oh! Oh man, how did my shot not heal me at all? I guess he must have got his out a split second earlier. That's that's unfortunate. Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna get another double digit streak using this set, so I'm gonna make it my mission to get either another fish kill or, or maybe even a shove that does something. Uh, maybe I can help this cap here before the round ends. Oh, can I shove this guy off the cart? Oh, yeah, you see, even there, it's like I probably would have been better off trying to kill him to get him off the cart than use the shove. Oh, here's an opportunity. No, missed him. Can I get this one? Hey, yes. Oh, man. Well, that was ridiculously satisfying. I probably should have milked this guy before starting a fish fight. Oh, nice. All right, now I really just want to get the cap here so we can call it a day. I feel like this is about as good as I'm going to pull off with a special delivery poly count set. Yeah, I don't think the special delivery set's going to replace any of my normal scout sets anytime soon. But it was fun to mess around. Ooh, skeet shot. All right, I got my milk charged up, so let's see if I can get revenge. What? Oh my god, I got goomba and that's almost certainly a spot, yeah. All right, so the other nice thing about the Mad Milk is tracking spies. Like here I can see exactly where he's go- Oh, no time to get him. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of the special delivery set. Thanks for watching and have a great day.